Hello, this is Chance White, and welcome to this tutorial on keying green screen footage using After Effects, specifically the Key Light plugin, which comes standard with After Effects. Let's find our green screen footage, bring that in. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to click on our video file, go ahead and drag that down to the Create New Composition icon down here. This will create a new composition based on the exact settings of your video file. So you don't have to worry about getting confused about making sure your composition settings are exactly right because After Effects does it for you. Okay, let's make sure we're at full quality here, which we are. And so now let's go ahead and select our clip. And then we're going to open up uh, from Effects and Presets. We're going to find Key Light. You can just uh, type it in here or you can, you know, uh, move on down here down the line you see keying under generate and you can find it right here key light 1.2 so uh, we can just go ahead and drag that onto our clip and here we go the first thing that we want to do is tell key light what color we want to remove which obviously is green but you have to tell it that and you have to find a good area on the green screen to sample like a me medium point here so as you can see, the light on the green screen in this particular clip starts to kind of fade off and get a little darker. So we're just going to go ahead and click on the eyedrop tool here and we'll click kind of in the middle here, close to our talent. So we'll click there. Okay, so now you can see here that it has gone ahead and pulled out that green which is exactly what you wanted to do. So if your footage is shot well and you have good separation between your talent and your screen, this will get you about 90% there. Now this is pretty good, but you can also see that it's pulling a lot of green out of her skin tone here. And you know, it's, you can tell that it's affecting the image and we'll get back to that later. But anyways, this is a, you know, fairly well shot, uh, fairly, fairly well lit footage. And you know, that's the most important thing is to get it right the first time when you're shooting. So, you know, make sure that you pay attention to your lighting setups. Make sure your green screens are lit as evenly as possible. Make sure you've got some good space between your talent and the screen. And make sure that you keep edge light in mind because that really helps to separate your subject from the green. For instance, with this clip, if we didn't have a really strong, uh, you know, edge light here, basically our key light is, is offset back here. It's this big softbox and it's really creating a good clean line between her blonde hair and the green. Okay, so uh, moving on, uh, you can see that behind it, we've just got this black. So, you know, we it would help if we could see a little better. To judge our work, let's just go ahead and create a solid and throw that in the background. Let's just make it white so we can really kind of tell what's happening in our edges. So as we zoom in here, you can see we need to clean this up quite a bit. First, uh, let's get all this uh, crap out of the shot with her. And the way we're going to do that is make sure our video clip selected. Hit G to bring up the uh, mask drawing tool. And let's go ahead and just draw around her just to get rid of all this uh, crap that's uh, in the shot with her that we don't want to see. Okay, boom, there you go. That's all gone. The way we're going to clean this up is this dark area here is we're going to use our screen gain function and we're going to just push that up a little until it's gone and you've got a nice clean area here no, no more of that gunk oh it looks like i missed the boom there let's go ahead and take that out by tweaking our mask just by easily pressing v to get that uh, mask selection arrow back and then let's return back to our normal settings here now you might have further problem areas you need to clean up you might have some weird fraying and stuff like that what you can do is you can use screen balance to further refine it and see, this kind of rolls it back, rolls back the sensitivity so we can get some of that detail back in some of the areas where we might have lost some. Like, see, that definitely cleans up her hair, and it cleans up some other areas here, like near the bag. Like, if we go back to 50, we can see what the difference that made. See, that was pretty looking pretty messy there with those, you know, kind of like the artifacting going on there. So we'll, we'll move it up to about a 76. And so now that's a lot cleaner. Now, first of all, before we clean up that edge, you can probably see that, uh, that fraying here, which doesn't look so good. Uh, there's other ways you can further refine your key, and they're down here in the screen mat area of key light. If you click screen mat and you've got your clip black and clip white, those are the next things you want to tweak. So let's go ahead and see what clip black does. As you can see, that kind of, uh, that really dramatically, you know, is going to, affect the footage and affect the edge and it's basically clipping your blacks out 
So we don't really need to do that on this particular footage. And then clip white is basically going to restore some of our highlight areas around the edge there, which is nice. So we're going to go ahead and leave that at about an 87. I recommend just experimenting with, with those settings with uh, screen gain, screen balance, clip black and clip white. Those are really your primary uh, settings you're going to be tweaking. And uh, again, you won't need to use clip black or clip white too much as long as you shot well. And then, so, so the next thing, we've got this weird fraying here, which isn't so great. Uh, this artifacting around the edge so we can do a lot of things to clean that up you can use our screen shrink and grow just to get that back towards the edge there and that makes it a little bit cleaner and then there's this fuzziness here what we can do with that is we can use screen softness just to soften that up so it's not nearly as is ugly see that's a lot better and then we're gonna go ahead and shrink it down just a little bit more but now see that's still not you know that's once you once you zoom in there you can see some imperfections. So we're still gonna refine it even further. And what we're gonna do is, we're gonna use another plugin called Refine Matte. And if you just type in Refine, you can find it. It's in the mats, the matte folder in your effects and presets. So if we just go ahead and bring that in and just leave it on default, look at that. It just automatically cleans up those edges. Now that's almost too clean. So what you wanna do is you wanna, you can, you can tone that down a little by you know putting the smooth on maybe half of what it was see that's a little more a little more natural see so that that makes a really dramatic difference there it really cleans up really cleans the, the edge up so there you go now you can see you've got a really clean edge you've got all the tools here to refine it and get it exactly where you need it we'll do some basic color correction now so that her skin tone looks more natural we're going to go into curves here we're going to go uh, basic curves here and just kind of bring up the overall levels it's a little just a little muddy so we'll bring that up a little, just a subtle bump there, bring up those mid-tones. And then we're gonna go into our reds, and you can see things are just a little, things are a little warm in the low, so we'll just take that down just slightly. So you can see that's definitely restoring some of the look there. And we're gonna add just a little bit of blue just to restore some of that blonde hair contrast in the highs okay so we'll turn that off just to see the difference that was our original this is after color correction so there you go that looks a lot better our our actress is is completely removed from the background and we've got a nice clean edge so there you go so yeah those are all the major tools i recommend experimenting to see what you can accomplish and again just uh, make sure that you uh, shoot your footage well and this part will be much less of a headache i've gone through uh, I've worked with a lot of footage that wasn't lit well and it can be incredibly difficult to get a nice clean key and a nice mat on that kind of footage. I'm sure you, you know, you've seen this everywhere. Green screen editing is often used on virtual sets where you can place a moderator in a virtual studio. This is what the news stations that you see on TV do all the time. Like uh, here's a virtual set, for instance, from blueeffects.net. They made it really easy to customize these templates. You just go in and you can see the text here. Uh, from your project so you just find whatever element you want to change so here I'm trying to change lower third O2 so I find lower third O2 text and just go in here and change whatever we need so main title we'll make this a uh, bikini babe news and then the secondary title uh, let's see here um, just put in uh, all the news you need so here you see I uh, changed that lower third. Here we got Bikini Babe News. You can change your ticker, which is pretty, pretty fun. So, you know, there's a lot of stuff you can do with just a template you can grab online. If you shoot some talent on a green screen, you can just throw them into this virtual set and uh, customize things really easily. So I highly recommend using a virtual set, especially from blueeffects.net. It's uh, great content, very easy to work with. You don't have to be an After Effects master to work with their templates. You know, the good news here is that you don't have to construct a virtual studio yourself. You can find After Effects templates created for this purpose. At blueeffects.net, you can actually find two virtual set templates right now. With these templates, your video can be edited in minutes. Just place your actor in the stage, change the text, and there you go, your very own virtual studio. So, there you have it. This is Chance White, and thank you for watching this tutorial. Happy keying.